Gaurav Bhatia, the Prime Minister under attack for silence on Manipur. He's likely to speak, of course, on Thursday. But how do you respond to that? That according to the opposition, speaker after speaker said, Prime Minister doesn't want to speak on any uncomfortable issues, be it China, be it Manipur. So, Rajdeep, I'll come to each of the issues you just discussed. But I must say that you call a member of parliament, Mr. Derek O'Brien, who is not famous for his conduct inside the parliament. He makes allegations against the government and he is given a clean floor. I don't know why. You should either have a face-off mm -hmm. or you should also invite a Bharti Janta Party leader. I had invited him to who find out why. And also no, I had invited Mr. him to Derek explain his behavior in parliament. Okay. It didn't sound like that. Okay. Because if I was the anchor, I would have asked him about the jungle raj that prevails in West Bengal. I would have asked him, why is it that 50 citizens of India lost their lives after the Panchayat election? I would have asked him, the Calcutta High Court reprimanded Mamta Banerjee and Mamta Banerjee has not spoken about it. I would have asked him that how is it that Congress workers are killed and their allegations of corruption leveled by Rahul Gandhi against Mamta Banerjee and they are yet together. Mm -hmm. Having said that, now I'll come to today's topic. Today, uh, this alliance, that is a tug alliance, people... ...the least of Prime Minister in whom the entire country has immense confidence. And the... It has immense confidence and the reason is very simple. Narendra Modi ji is a leader whose stature is recognized world over. Today, let's start by what the media was reporting, even your channel was reporting. It was being said Rahul Gandhi will open the speech. The Congressy chamchas were saying Tiger will be roaring. And it came out to be a damn quib. There wasn't any... A statement or speech by Rahul Gandhi and he was hit wicket even before he entered the pitch of parliament. Second, we must remember this no confidence motion has been moved by the opposition party when they lack the numbers. So they will be given a tight slap uh, on no, the they are, they are when They the moved it because Narendra they say Modi the Prime Minister, wrote, that's the only way then, to get the Prime Minister to speak in Parliament. The only way to get Prime Minister Modi to speak in Parliament was to have a no confidence motion. Otherwise he doesn't speak. <laughs> uh, Rajdeep, last time I remember in 2018 also, there was a no-confidence motion that was brought in. And uh, Congress party and other opposition parties suffered a very humiliating defeat. If you want to talk about Manipur, let me make it very clear mm -hmm. that Amit Shahji on the floor of the House even yesterday said that I invite the opposition parties to have a discussion on Manipur alone. Mm -hmm. That would be a discussion in both houses, unlike the no confidence motion that would be a discussion only in the Lok Sabha. Second, Amit Shah ji very categorically said this also, that there would be no time limit. I ask myself, if they were concerned about Manipur, why is it that today the Congress leaders, the Samajwadi Party leader, they discussed China, they discussed inflation, they discussed EDCBI, they discussed petrol diesel prices, they discussed employment and unemployment mm -hmm. numbers, farmers and institutions being destroyed. That itself shows the hypocrisy of the opposition that if Manipur was such an important issue for them, then I think they should have stuck to Manipur Gaurav Gogai, to discuss Gaurav every Gogai, aspect Gaurav of Gogai, the threadbare. Gaurav Gogai Second, focused on Manipur. I mean, a no confidence motion can be on a variety of issues. Okay. Okay, so let me now answer. Now, Manipur incident, a ghastly incident where two of our sisters were paraded uh, naked. I think it puts us to shame. But I want to ask that dignity of a woman, irrespective of the state where she comes from, is a very vital issue. I want to ask Gaurav Gogai or Rahul Gandhi or Sonia Gandhi. How many times has Sonia Gandhi ever commented on a rape happening in Rajasthan or Chhattisgarh? 6,337 rapes, according to the NCRB data of 2021. Radhi, would you not agree 
those women are also entitled to the same dignity when we discuss the women of Manipur. Second, the Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot says that 50% uh, of the complaints lodged by women are fake. The Minister says that this is a Pradesh of women, so that's why rape is more than that. Chhattisgarh Minister says that there is a rape in Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh mein. Divya Maderna, who is an MLA of the Congress Party in Rajasthan, says, I am not safe. How would the woman be safe? And I would say one thing, if it's a law and order issue, how many times has the delegation of this Thakbandan visited West Bengal? I just cited an example, 50 lives lost. Has this okay. uh, Thakbandan I... cared to go there? How many times have you done a show asking Gandhi Parivar, either Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Vadra Gandhi, or Sonia Gandhi about the 6,337 rapes that have happened in Rajasthan six Sir, times the number of Uttar Pradesh. Sir, when in Rajasthan, Bengal, Chhattisgarh, Manipur, we speak out. We, we, have, we have done stories on all, but... How Jemi, many debates? No, no, one minute. One, one minute. Give me one debate. I, 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 give I've me one time. debate. Okay. Let, Rajiv, let, just one debate. We have done Can several. Can you give me any debate? I will, I will show you Are the rape debates. Rape I will put it out. That happened in Rajasthan pertains to dignity of a woman. How many debates okay. and which date? Okay. Can you tell me? JB, I'm asking you. You are a very seasoned journalist.